So has dad even asked about me? No, it's not okay. I don't care he's a pastor. I'm still his damn son first. He has always put them church members before his family. And that includes you too. That's bull and you know it. I could have sworn that he always preached that no sins are greater than another. So why can't he just accept everyone but me? Just doesn't seem right. Fine then, Mom. Just keep taking up for him like you always do. Just like that night. I always remember. I may have been a little kid, but I still remember. Whatever, Mom. I gotta go. I gotta go. Shit. Mom, I gotta go. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You wake up to me every morning. Andre Lamar is always fine. You ain't got a front, man. Look, I know me and you go back and forth all the time. And shit, nothing, everything I seem to do don't seem to bother you. But whoever was on the phone really got underneath your skin. So, I was upset. And who are you for me to spill my guts out to you anyway? Especially a person who hate me and hate how I live my lifestyle. The last man I tried that with, it didn't work. You damn right I'm not going to accept you the way you are. Last time I did that, damn near ruined my fucking life. Trey, what are you talking about? Man, just forget about nothing. Oh, so you want me to spill my guts when you can't? You know what? Fuck you, Trey. Alright. Like it was my it was my senior year in high school. Me and my best friend was on the, on the football team. Shit, forget that. We was the stars of the football team. I was the running back. He was the quarterback. Shit, that was the first year we were supposed to take the school to his first city championship. When? It was the beginning of the season. All right, I think it was like the third or fourth game. I can't remember. Coach wanted us there early that day before school. Say he wanted to go for some new plays for the game that night. And uh, when we got there, it was me, Coach, and some of the other players. And I opened the door, and there was my friend. She's in the equipment manager. And that one moment, that one moment, ruined everything in my life. Wait, I don't understand. Your friend being gay? Messed up your life? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense because you ain't listening. See, me and him were friends. Since we were small. And I told him as long as he ain't push up on me, we'd be cool. So let me get this straight. You have a gay best friend and you hate me. Look, man, I don't you get it? The whole fucking team turned on us. Coach told me we wasn't cut. He benched both of us the rest of the season. And that's bullshit and he knew it. I was the best thing he had on that team that year. Scouts lost interest in me because I wasn't playing. Coach made up a story about me being a troublemaker. And all the schools that was interested in me backed up. You know, I didn't get one offer that year, not one. Then on top of all that, we was at a party one night. Some of the players came to me, talking about they had talked to Coach to get me back on the team. But all I had to do was leave him alone. And I told him, I said, nah, that's my boy. We've been friends for life. You know what I mean? Since we were like three years old, I said, I can't do it. They said, if I couldn't do that, that must be a faggot too. You know they jumped me? You know that? They jumped me. And then the worst part of it all, I look over in the corner, I see my friend. Watch. You know he ain't take one opportunity to lift a finger to help me. So you see, we can never be cool. I'm not throwing away any more opportunities to be besties with your ass. You wanted some openness? That's some openness for your ass. So all the time you've been taking your anger out on me? You know what? Fuck you, Trey. What? You heard me. Fuck you. Here I am fighting back and forth with you because you couldn't play a damn game. You know what? You're something else. Yeah, listen, man. Football was my life. Then go play then. 
We got a big ass field out back. Try losing your father. That man hasn't spoken to me ever since I came out the closet. Try getting your asshole fucked at the age of nine by the youth minister. Dad do nothing about it. When I told my daddy what happened, him nor my mother tried to console me. They told me to go wash off and go to bed. Then I found out later that my dad went to his house to pray with him. Pray? That's all you did to the man who did that to your only child? Do you know? That that man still preaches to the youth at my daddy's church every Sunday morning and eat dinner with my parents every Sunday night. I'm not even allowed on the porch. All I hear is, you gotta go. You got that devil in you and the devil is not welcome here. And neither are you. So you, if you can't be cool with me because you lost the game, then I say fuck you because I lost everything else. Who the fuck are you and why do you have my checks mixed? I'm London. No, really. Like, look. You, you look different. Like, did you get a boob job or something? I mean, did you get laid last night? You got this little glow about you. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Man, come on, what the fuck is this shit? What? Do I have a boogie in this little nose of mine? What? You don't have anything to say about what Andre just said? Shit, man, come on. Everybody kill him, so what's the big deal? Oh, no, tell me that Go. Tell you what, man. Come on, man. How are you going to let him two on through your ass like that? What? And I thought you were my bestie. I would have two on food you. Girl, do you even know what that means? <laughs> Whatever, girl. You know you're my bestie. It's just going to be me and you tonight, okay? You're my little dog. Can I be a cat because you're prettier? Okay. Anyways, me and Andre came to understanding last night, all right? I'll be a little more understanding of him and his lifestyle. And he said he'll slow down all the lesbian talk. Fruity talk. No offense. So, by understanding, what I'm hearing is that you two fuckers just had prison sex. Just. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to head out, y'all. No, tell Rosa she ain't got to cook me nothing to eat. Well, that's good to know. She ain't here anyway. But there's a note on the kitchen counter. Morning, everyone. Mike wants me to let everybody know you have an appointment downtown at 10 a.m. And don't be late, Rosa. Now, where in the hell nobody tell me this? Shit, that's in like 30 minutes. Come on, y'all. What's prison sex? Is that like role playing? Because I didn't see a girl sleep last night and. Man, y'all fucking with me. Y'all do something with my shit, cause that is not the same girl. That's bullshit. It's she's two foot fucking shorter. When I'm on my knees, my face comes right up to her titties. <laughs>